Like, is that a salsa dance? I don't even know, I'll just go on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome back to another week on Eve's Eye. Today I am graced to be at the studio of Abidak and Doc TV is a radio station and TV station and also check them out on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to their channel for all of the good content and if you need studio time, make sure to reach out to Abidoc Studios. So without further ado, it's your girl Eve's Eye. I'm always, always bringing you one of the most best artists from Nigeria and it's always a pleasure and I would like to say a big thank you to all those who bring these artists. I would like to give a shout out to Star Boy Awards as well as Shea Hunters for bringing this special artist I'm about to preview. So, should I have drum drum rolls? <laughs> Without further ado, help me welcome small but big doctor. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh shit. Hey. Hey. Oh shit. Yes. So where did you derive the name small doctor? I want to know why you chose the word small doctor. Okay, um small doctor is a name that has been given to me since childhood. Um it's a name of uh, Okay, let me just cut it short here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. There's a movie back then in Vogue in in, in Africa. Um it started with Doctor Who. Mm -hmm. And during my primary school days, I was very in love with a movie, a movie. So um it's 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 a it's a session um, movie, like it's a soap opera, like they show it maybe once in a week, so okay. it's it's like an episode, um, what's it called? So, um, um, that fifth day coming from school, so, and it was due time to see that movie on air, and my other, I have one brother, like, and a hood brother, a second yes. around, so, I was in the seeing that movie while I had his money with me to do, to go and run that errand for him, mm -hmm. so, and I came out with another eyes. Now see me, see him. he saw me seeing the movie. He was like, look at him. I sent him around saying, look at his small stature. Look at seeing Doctor Who. Why do you start being small doctor then? So people around me started laughing. So ever since then, they started calling me, calling me small, small doctor. doctor. So ever since then, name stopped. You wow. get it? Yeah. And what's your original name? Tim Tim That's my, that's my name. Hey, say that again. We have to slow the process. Uh -huh. Tim Itokoluwa uh -huh. Adekunle. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Very big name. <laughs> like rich, you know, rich like people like name. like you know the meaning. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. The way you took your time to say it, I'm like, okay, it, it has to be millionaire talk. Like, <laughs> like it takes time to say billionaire. You know what I mean? Like. Tell me, talk about Like I give grace to Almighty God. Amen. And Adekunle, like um um, it's a name from a royal family. What? <laughs> See, I was right. I was specifically, you know. <laughs> nice. That's a very um. You say the the, the meaning again. Tell me the I um. I give thanks to my God. Give thanks to my God. is a name from a royal family. Royal yeah. family. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Exceptional. Like a royal son. That's royal son. Mm -hmm. Wow. So do you have any like about your royal um roots? Do you? Tend to yeah, go back to yeah, 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 yeah. Not really. I'm not interested in those kind of things. But um, I'm just happy I'm part of them, though. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. But you can't deprive from that because I never, right. never, never. You yes. can never. But, but, um, I'm not seeing myself sitting in the seat again. <laughs> I think I'm comfortable. You're comfortable where, where you are. Yeah, okay. Me. So welcome to Toronto mm -hmm. again. Toronto. This is your do, de, okay, er de, two. Mm. Second time here. That's French. I, I, I say anything I want to say. So yes, it's French. <laughs> <laughs> It's French. Second time here, yes. So being here for the second time, mm -hmm. how has it been? Great, great, great. It's been good. It's been good. Trust me. Been good. Yeah, the exception has been massive. Yeah, that, that's trust good. Me. Have you visited the C and Tower yet? Nah. How? How? Um, do I have to take you to the center myself? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm gonna do that because how can you not go to the center? This is where Drake. The way the rate the rate the way you call the how it needs a question mark like yes. how question mark. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like when you walk into the house and your friends are like, how do you, like? You know, yeah, and why did you do that? How did it happen? Yes. So <laughs> this this calls for action. We're going to the center right after here. Okay. Ah, uh, but it's late right now. It's okay. You see the the lights. Those will also take a picture and show to the fans that you. Also okay, okay, like I, I, I like I visited here. Yes, I was here. Yes, okay, yes. So <laughs> let's get into details. Okay, tell me a little bit about who Small Doctor is. Okay, um, like I said earlier, my name is Atim Topolu Adepuni, 
I'm the only son of my parents and um um small doctor is um, just a young boy trying to make ends meet and to put food on the table of himself and his family and friends by thinking and um I think um it's just a normal self, nothing, no super hype, nothing. Just it's normal self, normal being. Yeah. Seeing normal being, where did it start off for you, childhood wise? Where did you grow up? What state did you grow up in? Okay, um, all my life has been in Lagos State. Lagos State. Mm -hmm. That's the center of Nigeria. Let me just yes. say, yeah. oh. no, center of excellence. Center of excellence. Mm -hmm. Wow, I like how you hold a high esteem for that. That's it. Yes. <laughs> and how big of a population is Lagos State? Um, I think <laughs> Lagos is around like um a thirty six million or something. Wow. Yeah. There are so, a lot of people in Lagos State. That's me. a lot of people. Mm -hmm. In so a house, mm -hmm. in a house, we've got like um in some houses in Lagos State, we've got like 50, 60, 50 people living in a house. Fifty people living in a house. Mm -hmm. And that's completely normal. In house. <laughs> like in a house, maybe a two story house, you get like 50 people, 60 people. Like you see people not knowing um the next tenant, like in the next tenant, living in the next apartment. Like they meet outside. Some people can just fight outside, like just like maybe they cause themselves on the roads and like finally one day they just find themselves living in the same apartment. Oh, how many years have been here? Three years. Oh, I've been here four years. What? <laughs> yes. Oh, you live in the same house? Yeah. That's how much? How come we don't know ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a lot of people. So that's how Lagos is, trust me. Wow. Mm -hmm. Over here, you can only live with five people and that's it. The coral alone would be enough. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I feel like I wouldn't be able to do live in that type of state. Ah, uh, it's because you, 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 you're not born there. You mm -hmm. don't know how it is done over there. Mm -hmm. So that's how. Um, that's how. That's why you see some people, even in that state, mm -hmm. saying they can live in the places they are not crowded like yeah. you just feel like they're gonna feel lonely or something mm -hmm. so it depends on how and where you you, you were brought, up. brought yeah, up. Yeah. so that brings me to the point where it's like that means certain like things that we go through you might not be going through definitely, back home. definitely. like for instance over here i could be in my room and then they'll be like okay that's the that you could be in your room depressed but i feel like if i was in nigeria there's no excuses everyone's gonna be their family definitely definitely and, basically um um, um it's that, that, that okay that, let me just put it like this um um Lagos state is um it, it, it has classes okay. okay there's a class for the rich there's a class for the average people and there's a class for the poor Again, and I guess you see some people sit with um, 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 sleeping under bridges and all like that on, on, on inside transport, public mm -hmm. transport buses, and all like that. So it's classes, it's, it's just a class you find yourself. Wow, and then, yeah, it gets, yeah, yeah, there's some people that that there's several people living in a $60,000 apartment, trust me, in Lagos State. So, wow. come on, so yeah, so in that kind of um, if you find yourself in the that kind of um stage or stage mm -hmm. um just have to just live uh, like the normal life, life like yeah. that you expect to live but if you find yourself in the likes of Marco and all like that living on water and all like that wow yeah, that, <laughs> that can be massive that trust is me. massive wow uh -huh. so such a population like that and small doctor comes out from that population how has that influenced you as an artist okay let me just tell you one thing yeah there's one thing in Lagos State, if you're an artist or any so so any 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 business you might be doing, once you're popular in Lagos State, you're popular in the taxi states in Nigeria. Automatically. So that's it. Wow. Automatically, that's it. So once you're an artist or something in 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 Lagos State, once you bloom, boom, you're popular in the taxi states. Every state. Trust me. That is a work of art. Right so there. so because because um um Lagos State is is People coming in, in into Lagos State um, each day is runs into thousands, and people going out runs into thousands as well. So it's part of the people that comes in and part mm -hmm. of people that are going out and go and preach gospel to the people in the other states. Oh, have you heard about the Oh, check him out. So gradually the wow. song is blowing. That's so word it. of mouth. So trust me, one of my it works very well. Wow. Yeah, it's going far away. Wow. Me. Not not like these people who have to buy, sell, you just have to just have a word of mouth and you could try. Um I'm in some cases. Okay. You have to just um um have word of mouth as well. Mm -hmm. But um in most cases, let me say 
it's people that preach them your 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 even i let me say mm-hmm. your character or yes. your craft or your product to yes. other people you know me? it's just but no because Lagos is somewhere you you, you, you by 5 a.m. 4 30 a.m. 5 a.m. you just find people out there trying to just get bus to their destination and all like that so everybody's always on their toes yes. so nobody has that time to just go search for someone up there See the feeling. So maybe it's someone that he dropped your song or something. So maybe he and you works at the same place. Just mm-hmm. like maybe while at work or something, mm-hmm. the song song comes to his or her head. Just yes. be like, oh, who sang that song? Ah, it's like my child stuff like that. So wow. from there it moves. Yeah, that's it. Wow, amazing to know so much. <laughs> well, so much, so little about Lagos State. Okay. Definitely, definitely um, learned something, and mm-hmm. I appreciate the fact that you came from such place uh-huh. to grace us with such beautiful trust me music. if if you if you if you if you're born in lagos state or you live in lagos state and you know why you can never be wise never again what say that again <laughs> if you're born in lagos state or you lived in lagos state for several years and you know why you can never be wise again anyway why do you say that because um in Lagos, like I said earlier, thousands of people walk in and walk out of Lagos State. So mm-hmm. you get to meet different characters every minute. Mm-hmm. So they, they, they sharpen you, they they, they, they 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 get you ready for the next step. Yes. So if you're not sharp, if you're not wise, if 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 you let people outsmart you, definitely you're gonna die a Richard Fellow. Oh. So it's basically survival of the fittest. Uh huh. Wow, definitely. Wow, thank you so much for the enlightenment. <laughs> so, Smart Doctor, tell me a little bit about your upcoming projects that you're most excited about. Oh, basically, my concert coming up, coming up on the 9th of September. Concerts. Oh, concert, trust How me. many? Okay, I know there's concerts, mm-hmm. but tell me a little bit more details. Okay, um, 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 I st- I'm staging a concert um, um, in a 10,000 people capacity wow. in Nagegi Stadium. That's my hood. Ooh. Um and and i'm bringing lots of um um the well-known artists out there wow. coming to support the lawyer boy in the industry yes um because i'm everybody's boy trust me yes yes <laughs> <laughs> so um uh and um we're looking forward to to it's to me i just i just put it like like follow me on the journey to agigi, agigi okay. follow me on the journey to agigi come and go and see how agigi looks like even on my page on instagram on, Twitter and Snapchat and Facebook. So I've been okay. Follow me in the journey of Agege. Let me unveil unveil the the the, the, the both sides of Agege yes. to you. So yes. that's basically what the concert is all about, and it's about mainly giving back to the society. Wow. That's it. Giving back to society. Mm-hmm. Wow. So you give back. Like mm-hmm. so, what are some of your projects? Okay, like um um we're visiting several schools in Agege. Wow. Um, distributing bags, books, pencils. Basically, I'm um, learning um, um, kids yes. and um, going to the less privileged homes, um, wow. giving um, them um, uh, what's it called, foods, basically clothes, yes. um, necessary things. You get um, going to um, um, there's a place we call Ojun Hill Railway Station okay. that you, you get to see a lot of beggars going there, wow. distributing a lot of things to them, and that's it. Thank you for giving back. Remembering <laughs> back where you're from. Mm-hmm. There's this quote people say in our language, Sankofa, which means you go back to get to, to, to brace where you're from. Uh-huh. And that's deep. And that's really in, deep. There's, a, there's a quote in our language also that says, mm-hmm. like a river that forgets the, 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 the start yeah. will surely dry up. Yeah. Wow. So so tell me, um, you being in Toronto, Mm -hmm. what are some of the things that have been coming to your mind? Like what are some of the thick ideas you've been coming up with? Like like let's say you as an individual, as an artist. Okay. What are some of the things you've been Okay, um firstly I'm thinking of bringing my concert to Canada Mm -hmm. to Toronto basically to and some other few states to to stayed mm-hmm. a very big concert there because sometimes last two months i was in london mm-hmm. to to london. Our, yeah yeah london, london yeah okay. o to o to academy okay. Ellington. so i stayed a concert it was a, it was a sold out concert it's wow. it's everywhere on youtube on my page and all like that so um to me basically yeah 
I just feel like um we explore. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's basically why I live. I I I want to keep exploring. Yes. I want to keep um 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 digging deep and um I'm paving so many ways and opportunities for people coming behind me. Yes. You know, yeah. That's just the I'm trying to preach preach the gospel to to the white and black. No matter your race, I just black. yeah. Wow. No matter what your race, I just want to be your friend. Yeah, I don't want to be something that come. I want to be this first name that comes to your mind from Africa. Wow, That's inspirational. It. That's it. Inspirational. You got it. You got it. And which international artist would you want to collaborate with as um, an artist? Okay. Um. Uh. Basically. Um. It depends on my sound. Okay. This, the sound I have at at hand as at that moment. So that makes me think about the artists I want to have on it. So you don't have it in mind. Uh, you no. just it's just more natural. No, really. Just, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It just comes up. Yeah, not yeah. like it's written down or something. Okay. I just come up with a sound and just feel like, oh, lem, this so person does this kind of sound. Oh, let me put it on. And it's gonna make a good bounce. That's it. Definitely. Have you seen any international artists that you're in, like, let's say you're aiming towards working with? That if they saw it right now, you'd be like. Yeah, I want to work with you. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But do not forgetting, if the sound is not available, we're going to postpone it another time. This is confidence. Mm -hmm. This is sincere <laughs> confidence. You don't even give names. You just say, if the... I like, I like that. Yeah, that yeah. As an artist, you flourish that way because you have an open mindset. That's it. And you're not open to limitations. Mm -hmm. No limitations, yes, trust me. Yes, definitely. Uh -huh. So, small doctor, mm -hmm. how small or how old are you in age? Uh, I don't really know my age, but I know my date. Okay. I was born on 27th of May. 27th well, of May. I really don't know, really know the year. The, the year. Okay. <laughs> so you keep it as small, but also old. Uh, mind. like small but mighty. Okay. Small, small but mighty. Uh -huh. That's it. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. All right. So, small doctor, tell me a little bit about some of the things you've experienced during your career. As an artist, um, so many things. Um, I could remember one day. Um, I've got a promo CD that I get to give um to an elder brother in our hood back then, mm -hmm. right in front of me. It tra it tragedy. It was like, yo, why are you singing? Come on, go find some other things. Then trust me. So, um, thank God for where you are today. And um, this kind of people still love me to come to and to stay at the front row. Trust me, not on the you front seat. Save people that trash you. Mm -hmm. Not the front seat. Don't get it twisted. They still struggle to stay at the front row. Front row. Yeah, at our concert or shows like that. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. why won't be thankful to God? So that brought me to something I seen on your Instagram page. Okay. Um, you said a quote that penalty, or mm -hmm. is it, like, I believe it was penalty, or one of your this year, mm -hmm. I believe you had to use one of your local producers mm -hmm. because one of the producers you had been reaching out to mm -hmm. for eight months mm -hmm. consistently mm -hmm. refused to work with you. Yeah, it was for me too busy. It was like, oh, okay. So I was like, wow. You were not the one that got me to this stage. Mm -hmm. So I've got I've got producers I believe in mm -hmm. that have been producing me for, for producing. Because that's why, that's why basically me, I don't see... Um, I don't believe in that. Um, I'm saying of um, mom, let's get, get a big producer, yes. let's get, get a big artist or something yes. before it could blow and all like that. No, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a reason for so many artists not to quit. Trust me, Amen. I'm very reason. Yeah, I'm very good reason for them not to quit. Like if small doctor can make it, definitely you can. You can so make it. I've been reaching out for like eight months since 2015 December. So we will. We planned this, I had the concept, we planned this, so mm -hmm. it was like for me to be, and me and that same artist, it was for me to be like producing for Wuchin on several occasions, so I was like, wow, well, it's fine, so I just called on my producer, mm -hmm. I was like, I've got the idea, I've got the idea, let's put it together. It was a local producer. Mm -hmm. Wow. My hood, it was one of my boys, I'm, yes. I groomed myself, mm -hmm. so, yes. and we made it happen, and God made it hit, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, boom. So and every, a penalty, hey, yeah. okay. so every setback is a great comeback. Trust me. Yes. Okay. So I also want to ask you a question, mm -hmm. and I hope you're open about it. Okay. What is your greatest fear? This is from you. Failure. Greatest fear. That's failure. Failure. Mm -hmm. What is failure to you? Um, failure is losing everything you've um put a lot of effort and spent a lot of money and taking a lot of your time. To, to invest in mm -hmm. and seeing it crash while you exist is something you couldn't you shouldn't pay for. Yeah. Have you ever failed? Never. 
Never. Never. Never. Hey. <laughs> so to you, everything is a route to the excellence. Trust me. We're gonna get a little personal on your tattoos. Okay. What inspired your tattoos? Um, um my tattoos are what though. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. And that is a word. We got this. Okay, this 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 this, this, this quote. We fear something before we hate it. A child who fears noise becomes a man who hates noises. Say that again. We fear something before we hate it. A child who fears noise becomes a man who hates noises. Can you please? In depth, give us okay, a like a small child, a crawling child mm -hmm. that even at every sound scares him or her. Like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. when watch the child when he or she grows up, you don't want to be where the sound is too loud or something, mm -hmm. just want to be on a very low thing low ever thing, yeah. because it's the child is not that kind of person because just like, oh, if you put a volume to 10, oh, it's too loud, can mm -hmm. you just take it slow? Mm -hmm. So that's it. So what, what inspired that quote for you? Does uh, that apply, apply uh, to you? How does uh, it apply to you? Okay, and it applies to me like um, a, 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 a sharpened mind will ever be a sharpened mind mm -hmm. and a dull person will ever be a dull person no matter what you're going to do to the person. Definitely. So that's it. So, wow. so it depends on you to choose. It's your choice. Wow. Yeah, it's your choice. Depends on you. Mm -hmm. It's your choice. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> one more quote. Uh, you're different. You're mm -hmm. different. Like this one, have you said it today? Thank you, Lord. That's it. As simple as that. Yeah, that's the question I ask myself every day. Wow. I just said it today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So that's it. Wow. So I've got um, musical symbols. Mm -hmm. I've got, you know, Michelle, greatness will happen. Okay. I've got Olu Adara me. Mm -hmm. The Almighty Lord is good to me. And I've got a praying hand. Okay. That's it. And I've got musical symbols as well. Yes. Musical symbols. And I've got mommy me. This mm -hmm. is my mommy. Yes. That's it. Wow. Do you want to show your mommy? <laughs> <laughs> Mommy me, that's mommy my mommy. Me. Yes. Yeah. And I've got a doctor here. Do you plan on getting more tattoos? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, time will tell, yeah. Time will tell. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. <laughs> so if right now I'm gonna get a little tricky over here. If you had a brand that you wanted to work with, mm -hmm. as time goes on, which brand would you want to work with? Um, it depends because there are several brands. Um, it depends on. See me, um, mm -hmm. um, I just work with what I have at the moment. Okay. Yeah, the film. Because you can't expect um I have a microphone and, and I wanna work with um a a, a um auto mechanic mechanic brand. It's okay. not possible. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. film. So um I rather have a microphone and okay, go into a deal with the people that sell speakers and all like that. Oh, yes. we can work together, we have something in common. Mm -hmm. So that's it. So I, I just associate myself with with the thing I have at hand mm -hmm. and and the something I think um might be um um um, useful to me in the next yes. future. I don't just, I don't, I don't, I don't keep contact because of keeping sick. Yes. Nah. I just, I keep contact. Oh, this is gonna work for me when it's time. And, mm -hmm. so, and I keep updating as maybe once in a while, depending the time I'm gonna need that yes. plan. That's it. Definitely. Okay. So I have a question. This is for personal. I want to know. Um, would you rather a large team or a small team? A, sm a small team. Why a small team? A small team. You guys will be very, very be in touch. My team is very small. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I always choose a small team. My mm -hmm. team is very small and they brought me this far. Mm -hmm. So we could, okay, boom, they can just, we have, a, if you have a group, a chat group, then mm -hmm. okay, boom, oh, you, you go and do this tomorrow, you go and do yes. this tomorrow. So when a team is small, everybody's always on their toes. Yes. That's it. Definitely. Okay, so who's your greatest inspiration? Um, I would say my mother. Your mother. Mm -hmm. You always say your mother. Mm -hmm. Is she still here with us? <laughs> she's always everywhere with me. Oh, everywhere with me. Trust me. Yes. Just like my angel does it. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. And also, um, for the women out there, mm -hmm. what are some of the advice you want to give them as an artist? Okay, um, to the um, the women, the parents, the ladies, or the older women. All of them, all women. All okay, women. all women um, keep the ball rolling, the and ball. they should yeah, they should keep the bell ringing because you never can tell who the right man is. Yeah, just always shoot your shot. Shoot, your, shoot yeah, your shot. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. always shoot it in a positive way with a positive vibe and positive mind. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Do you think? The ladies nowadays are not are are actually compromising or they're just settling. Um, I think um, 
okay like mm, if i'm to rate them um i'll read them 60 40. 60 40. Mm-hmm. why do you say that uh, because um number one um fingers are not equal Hmm. Uh, so if you've got a life to live while well, I've got mine to live as well so mm-hmm. um, it depends there's always two sides to the story it depends yes. on when you're saying it from that's mm-hmm. it so um, where in a family you've got um, a, 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 a woman that's um, very very lousy very and um, the foreign part might um, she might be um, the uh, um, the person with um, um, a um, heart of gold. Yes. Yeah. Despite the fact that she's that loud and all like that. Yeah. And the funniest part is, I just, I just want every woman out there to, to be submissive to their, to their partner, and just make things work. Because um, nowadays I see so many women um, divorce. I see news of divorce and all like that. Videos of um, um, domestic violence mm-hmm. and all like that and it's getting too much yes uh, and um it's never a fault from one party it's always from the two parties, two parties. it just might be um, more from one party to the other but it's always for it to okay there's nobody that's gonna they, they, you're gonna ask a question like oh how did it happen everybody has something to say mm-hmm. that's it that's it mm-hmm. so are you against domestic violence definitely hundred. and what's your take on that um, to me, I just feel if I was to be um, in power, um, mm-hmm. I just feel um, anybody that does that should go for a death penalty, trust me. Wow. Wow. That's serious. Bold words. <laughs> That's bold words. So, yes. So, before we um, chop it up, get mm-hmm. into the, you know, more juicy part, I want to know um, who has been carrying you through your musical career that uh-huh. we should be, like, know of, that you appreciate so much? Okay, um, there are several people, um, there are several people, there are several hidden people that even sometimes I just wake up to read, read DMs for my um, fans, like yes. um, giving me ideas on what next to do and all like that. Yes. Like today I received um, a message from my fans saying, talking about security for my concert and all like that. And it gave so many good, good ideas and details. Like, wow. So... You said from your fans. Mm-hmm. You talk a lot to your fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I relate a lot with my fans. Wow, trust me. Wow. I relate a lot with my fans. Yeah. So your fan base. Like yeah, yeah. Like sometimes I just wake up. I just post a number. Like I just post it. Nobody. I just post a picture. Post 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 me a number. I'm gonna give you a call and I give several people a call that oh, day. Oh, that's so sweet. I do video calls with my fans wow. and all like that. So that's it. Wow, we appreciate you. Mm-hmm. We definitely appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. you. Appreciate <laughs> because to me, I just see it like um um um. There's nothing so spe- special about me. Mm-hmm. It's just that um the grace is just different. Amen. So that's it. So um 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 because they're not popular doesn't mean they're not successful. Thank you. So that's why I just see everybody as um um uh, been equal. Definitely. Mm-hmm. All right. So small doctor. Before we go, I want to ask you your take on the whole of the situations that are going on in Nigeria. Okay. Um, it could be, let's say, leadership. Okay. It could be the way things are handled. Do you think how things are being handled in Nigeria right now could be better or could it remain the same? Mm, um, it dip- um, let me just say... Um, all we need is just um a, 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 a just one person, mm-hmm. just one person, just one person. Yeah, just one person to change the game. And you have faith. Mhm. Definitely, mm-hmm. that's just it. All right. So, without further ado, I would like to say you have been special to the Canadians. You came for a Nigerian Celebrity Award show. Mm-hmm. How was that? Uh, that was a massive turnout. Mm-hmm. Trust me. Yeah. With all these actors. Yeah, yeah, and I got mm-hmm. to meet a lot of our talks mm-hmm. because back in Nigeria, um, um, you don't have the time of um, the only time you have to, to yourself is, um, to be out there is the time you 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 have to attend gigs and shows like that. Yes. And um, I'm an, I'm a singer, not an actor. So, mm-hmm. um, basically, I've not met so many of those actors. You know, for me. We just they just listen to my songs and I just see them on screen. That's all. Maybe at my leisure time, at home, seeing movies on YouTube and stuff like that. So it was an opportunity for me to see love, 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 and most of them Aww. at the party. And and I I felt very, 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 
very grateful and happy. Yeah. Okay. So yes, what do you um as an artist, what are um some of the things you would like to tell other artists that are upcoming right now to learn from your experience? This is something I believe a lot of artists are going through. They're like, okay, I don't think I'm going anywhere. I don't see no shine. I feel like I'm failing as an artist. What are what's your encouragement that you can tell these artists? Okay, um uh this see there's one thing that um comes to my mind each and every time is never say never. Never say never. Yeah, because you never can tell who the next person is and the next person in line. You can never never can tell who the person is. Yes. Like I said earlier, you can just stay at the back of your room, record a song, boom. And it goes viral and makes you a superstar. Yes. That people come so come sorting after. So that's just it. So never relent. There's no limitations. Basically, especially being a street artist, there's no limitations. Anything can happen anytime. Definitely. So that's it. Anything can happen any any every time. Trust me. That's yes. it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, my favorite song this year. Please tell me what inspired that song this year. Okay. Um. This year is something. Okay. I just feel like, like I said earlier, I have a plan for several years to come. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like, let me have a annual, annual song that can be played every year. Yeah. So that's a prayer song that say we see this year we're gonna see next year. Mm -hmm. We're happy this year we're gonna be happy next day. So that's just it. So just feel like oh you never gonna die a premature death Amen. yeah that's just it so i just feel like let me have a prayer song out there and that's that's how it does it okay all right so without further ado give us a freestyle so we can end off and yes let's hear a little something from small doctor penalty you can call me small doctor i'm your teacher i we see this year this year we go see next year Cause you could let you out. I take a lap, lap, bang, 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 to keep supporting you, everything you do, and tell them your heart, everything that's from your heart to your fans. All right, um, I want to appreciate everybody supporting your craft brand, small doctor. I appreciate you guys. I'm all, God bless you. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for helping me put food on my table and for my parents and siblings. God bless you all. I appreciate you. Keep winning, keep elevating, keep shining. Me, Almighty Lord, in its, in its infinite mercy, guide, guide, and protect us all. Yeah, no, my is next. I give you up. I appreciate. Woo! That was small, doctor. But not so small. Small but mighty. Yeah, yeah small but mighty. Thank yeah, you so much for You're coming welcome. on to Eve's Eye. I would like to give a big shout out to Doc TV for having us here today. Mm -hmm. Make sure to tune into their YouTube channel and watch the previous interview on their channel. Mm -hmm. Without further ado, so I have to keep telling them to keep watching his eye or they will run away. Definitely no, they know, they know. <laughs> you know, Omar Beta is present, yeah. Since you be Omar Beta self, you can keep watching, keep watching, keep putting that eye on his eye. So the feeling that's just it. Omar, trust me. Omar, forget say she give Adam apple chop. She the feeling. It's just see the Eve's eye now. It's not for the Eve's eye. That's it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, that um, was it. No <laughs> doctor. We should. Peace out. Times. Eh, 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 Dance. I don't even know, I just go with the flow. <laughs> <laughs> what?